Hello guys, in this video we are going to write the code for the slide movement, so let's get started. First, we are going to adjust the variable run speed, if you haven't made it, just to match the movement with the animation. Now, we are going to create a float variable con slide equals zero, and in the update method, we are going to add a condition between crouch conditions. Type in else if get button down is crouch and horizontal is different to zero and is not crouching, then we set the variable con slide equal 0.5f. And first, we are going to stop the animation run, then start the animation slide, assigning the variable is sliding in true. We have to stop this animation inside the crouch condition, because if we still pressing this button when the animation slide finish, we need to start the animation crouch. Then, we will type a condition using the variable contest slide to stop this animation. We have to decrease this variable typing this. Conde slide is equal conde slide minus 1f per time data time. And when it is get less or equal 0, we will stop the animation slide. Also, we have to reset the animation run because this animation is always assigned. Now test it, we wait to compile and run. The animation looks strange, we need to adjust the size of the sprite in the sprite editor to match with the run or idle sprite, but we will make this in another video. And that's all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.